With Oracle Analytics, you can use data actions to help you to create contextualized navigation links from visualizations. Configure data actions from the workbook main menu. From the workbook toolbar, launch the workbook menu and select data actions. In data actions, click add action. Enter a name for the new data action. Select the type analytics link. Analytics Link lets you move around in this workbook or other workbooks within the web catalog. The Anchor To field anchors data to a named column, so the action applies to visualizations using that column. In this case, leave the field blank so that the action appears in all visuals in the workbook. The navigation target can be a canvas in this workbook or in another workbook. The action needs to navigate to a canvas in this workbook, so accept it as the default value. From Canvas Link, select Canvas 2 as the target for this data action. When Pass Values is set to All, the entire context of the selected action click is passed along as filters. Accept All as the default value and click OK. In Canvas 1, in the Sales by Product category and Customer Segment visual, right-click the Sales Amount for the Furniture Sales Product category and Home Office Customer Segment and select the Nav to Target Data Action menu option that you just created. This action navigates to Canvas 2 and displays the entire context of the click cell passed to the filters because Pass Values was set to All when you created the Canvas Navigation action. Canvas 2 displays filtered values from Canvas 1, Furniture Sales for Home Office, even though Home Office isn't part of the visual. Undo your change. In Canvas 1, the Sales by Product category and Profit visual only has product category to pass as a filter to Canvas 2. Right-click the furniture bar in the visual and select Nav to Target to pass furniture as the filter. Canvas 2 displays values only for furniture sales. Undo the edit. Next, modify the data action, but this time specify to anchor the data to product category. In Canvas 1, launch the workbook menu and select Data Actions. Click Select Data and pick the product category attribute so that the Action Link menu option displays only in visualizations where product category is part of the context. Click OK. The lower two visuals don't display the Nav to Target Action Link menu option because their context does not include product category. But the upper two visuals do display the Nav to Target Action Link menu option because their context includes product category. Add a second column to the anchor configuration. Launch the workbook menu to modify the data actions. Click Add Data and select the Customer Segment attribute. Click OK. In Canvas 1, the Nav to Target menu option is only enabled for the Sales by Product category and Customer Segment visualization. Click Nav to Target. In Canvas 2, the filters change based on the Product category and Customer Segment. Undo the edit. In Canvas 1, modify the Nav to Target data action again by changing the pass values parameters to be the same as in anchor data, so that only those columns are passed as filters. Launch the workbook menu again to modify the data actions. Click Pass Values and pick Anchor Data, and click OK. In the Sales by Product category and Customer Segment visual, right-click the sales value in the pivot table for Office Supplies for Small Business. The Nav to Target option is enabled because the Anchor to value specified that Product Category and Customer Segment can be passed to the target Canvas 2 only if both are in the source visualization. Click Nav to target. In Canvas 2, the filter reflects the data passed when the source visualization contains both product category and customer segment. Undo edits one last time. Finally, add a second data action to navigate to a URL, passing context with the URL. In Canvas 1, launch the workbook menu one final time to modify the data actions. Click Add Action. Name the data action as nav to URL and accept the default action type URL navigation. You can enter your own HTML code to pass contextual parameters. For example, you can create a data action to pass product category to a URL and display the result on a target web page such as Google search results. In syntax, enter the URL. Select the product category attribute. and click OK. In Canvas 1, right-click the value for Technology for Consumer Sales and select Nav to URL. The data action uses the selected value, and it passes the Technology Product category to the specified Google search page URL, where the result of the search is displayed.
Now you know how to use data actions to help you to create contextualized navigation links in Oracle Analytics. Check us out at docs.oracle.com.